Happy New Year, Molly. Well, what triggered it off? Did somebody upset him? We were talking about New Year's resolutions. And whose stupid idea was that? Well, it's what you do. He should never have gone. There's no point in saying that, is there? I didn't want him being upset, not now. If he'd have stayed here, then I could have looked after him. You can stop him going to prison, can you? Hi. Hiya. What do you want for breakfast? I'm not hungry. Well, what about coffee? Sit down, I'll get you some. No. Tea, then? No. Mark, you've got to have something, please. I'll make it myself, all right? He never said anything about stopping over. You know what Anne Marie's like? She was probably off her face and he felt he had to stay. He could have phoned. Yeah, I wonder why he didn't. Well, whatever the reason, it has nothing to do with you. Just seems odd not to pick up a phone and say Happy New Year. I wouldn't worry. You'll be back soon. Mind, you can always tell when somebody rings at work and they're pulling a sickie. May sound guilty, no matter how hard they try to hide it. What are you implying? It's a very emotional time when the clock strikes 12. Especially if you're with someone you've been close to. You know nothing about Phil's relationship with his wife. Did I mention Phil? Oh, I didn't hear you get up. Molly was a little bit restless, so I brought her down here. Oh, you should have woken me. There's no need. I fed her and changed her and as you can see, she's fine. Oh, all the same. I didn't want to disturb you. You needed a good night's sleep and you look a lot better for it. Do I? Yes. Don't worry, I love looking after her. Yeah, well, now that I'm up, I ought to be getting back to the pub. Oh, there's no rush. When you go back to bed, I'll bring you up some breakfast. There's lots to do, Ashley. I can't just leave it to everyone else. Bernice, it's a week since you had the baby. You need to rest. I feel fine. There's no point in going in. I doubt anyone's stirred. They'll all be nursing hangovers. All the more reason for me to be there. It's about time you showed your face. Yeah, well, I had to come and see to Kirk, didn't I? Yeah, well, you can do it washing up. All right. I mean, look at the state of this room. I don't know why we bothered. Well, what you want about it? We're good, weren't it? Well, I, you enjoyed yourself all right. Well, I thought that was the idea. You never learn, do you? What? Well, if there were 50 men in a room and one of them were a loser, you'd pick him. Oh, get lost. Kay and Dingle. I mean, what are you playing at? It was New Year's Eve. But you know what he's like. You should stay well clear. And you should keep your nose out. Oof. Are you sure you don't mind me spending the day with Mark? You know, with him being in court tomorrow. Of course not. He needs you. You're a magician, Sean. You know that. What do you mean? All this touchy-feely understanding stuff from Tara. It's never been seen before. I wouldn't show it to you. You'd take it as a sign of weakness. See what I mean? And I'm one of our oldest friends. You are going home tomorrow, aren't you? Yes, thank goodness. No offence, sweetheart, but I don't know why you stay in this place. It's so dull. That's not a word I'd choose. No, Carmel's got a point. I'm not sure why I stay here anymore. I would have thought that was obvious. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> in the wool pack around seven. Abracadabra. Don't talk more rubbish. Happy New Year, son. Yeah, same to you. Look, Jock, come in. OK. Hello, son. Hi. What are you doing here? Eh? Come on, don't be like that. I've come to see Mark. It's not a problem, is it? Of course he's not. Now he's here, he can stop for lunch. Oh, well, actually, I thought you might like to get out of the house. We could go for a walk. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, right. I thought you were going to spend the day with me. Doing what? Well, whatever you like, watching TV, chatting, just being together. We'll only be gone a couple of hours. Well, I might as well do something. I don't want to be sat around here all day. Your guy will do him good. Well, could I come? What for? Because it's really morbid round here. It's doing me heading. Thanks very much. Well, don't be like that, Ange. 
Come on, let's go and get ready. Look, I thought it might take his mind off things for a few hours. You don't mind, do you? Why should I? I'm only his mother. Jess, hi! Hello, love. Happy New Year. Yes. A bit late, aren't you? Not really, no. Look, things got a bit complicated. You could have at least picked up the phone, surely. Let me know what was happening. I can explain. I wanted us to see the New Year in together. I know, but it was difficult. Don't tell me. She got drunk. Started to cry, said she couldn't cope without you and begged you to stay. Oh, yes, actually. You fall for it every time. I didn't want to come back here at all. My mum's a mess. That's your fault. Jess, not here. What's the matter? Afraid everyone will find out what she's really like. Jess. Well, let's go back to the show. Can I get anybody a drink? Good night last night. Thought so at the time, now I'm not so sure. Happy New Year, Louise. Oh, and you, Ashley. This place is a tip. Happy New Year. And how's my little granddaughter today? <gasps> Aren't you gorgeous? <laughs> Why didn't you wash up before you went to bed? Oh, well, we were going to get up early and do it this morning, but um, it kind of didn't happen. I think she looks like me. It's the eyes. Hers aren't bloodshot. You know what it's like on New Year's Eve, Bernice? You've got to join in. The customers expect it. <sighs> I should have stayed. Oh, don't be so daft. We'll have this place ship shape in no time. You're lucky you left when you did. It got pretty rowdy after you left. Louise is right. She slept really well. And so did Molly. Mm. <laughs> Molly? Yes, we sort of spontaneously came up with the name last night. Didn't we, Bernice? Yeah, well, don't you like it? Well, there's nothing wrong with the name as such. But don't say you've forgotten Molly Jackson. Well, who was she? An evil little cow. Bernice was at school with her. She made her life hell. She put chewing gum in her hair and shaving foam in her gym knickers and pulled all the legs off her dollies. And worse. I must have blanked it out. Well, never mind. We can think of another name. Uh, do you think you could do it in the back room? Much as I love your little treasure, me and Louise need an atmosphere of quiet reflection this morning, don't we? Definitely. Well, I think it's time for your feed, whatever your name is. I'd like a decision before I leave tomorrow. Tara? Sorry? About the horses, whether you're going to transfer them to my place. Oh, yeah, I'll let you know. Sooner rather than later? I need to know if I've got a future here. That's what Sean said. He said it before, but I didn't think he meant it. What? Oh, when we dropped him off. It's not just as though he was thinking of leaving. Do you get that impression, Carmel? Well, you know him better than I do. Well, why would he go? His marriage is over. Maybe he's gone off you. I wondered where you got to. Hmm. You'd be amazed at how much stuff he accumulates. Well, that's kids, eh? Yeah, there's been four mugs in here. This one's got mould growing in the bottom. Why don't you come downstairs, love? No, I want to finish this. I want to make it nice. What's up? Got it at primary school. First prize. We had to write a poem. My family. I remember it was lovely. Hmm. <laughs> oh, come on, love. It's all right. It's stupid. I've got to be strong. Not with me, you haven't. I wanted to spend today with him. Yeah, I know. Why did he have to go with Sean? Well, it's not that he prefers his dad. He just needs both of you. He knows I love him, doesn't he? Of course he does. Just don't expect him to write you a poem. first moved here, I thought that was it. Put down roots, stay for the duration. What do you mean? I'm thinking maybe it's time I moved on. What? Why? Oh, look at me. I'm dossing with a couple of blokes in a rented house. I want you to be able to depend on me, not pity me. 
Dad, we don't pity you. Things might get better. Maybe. I need to make a fresh start. Where will you go? I haven't decided anything yet. I wanted to talk to you two first. What's your life? Yeah, but you're a part of it. Yeah, well, it's not going to make much difference to me now, though, is it? I'm still your dad, wherever you are. Look, if you didn't want me to go, either of you, I wouldn't. You're not going to get back with Mum, are you? So why stay? You really don't mind? Look, I've got to look after myself now, whether you're here or not. Ollie? Um. Yeah, we'd better get going. Thought you'd been here. So? How are you feeling? Yeah, OK. We were great last night, weren't it? Yeah, we're all right. You should have seen the state of the house this morning. It was a right mess. <laughs> Fascinating. See you around, then. He had his mucky hands all over and sticking his tongue down her throat. Don't know if she could stand it. Looks like Kane doesn't uh, do it for you, then, huh? <laughs> what does she see in him? You tell me. And she snogged him Christmas Day and all. What do you want me to say? I just don't know what to do for the best. Here, cheers. Well, I'd try and warn him off her. And then, if that doesn't work, give him a slap. Kane Dingle. Hmm. And besides, she was up for it. Oh, well then. What's your problem? Well, you know what he's like? He's using her. What, and you're jealous? No. Nah. How can I be jealous? I was looking out for her, that's all. Like a, uh, sort of, um, a brother-sister thing? Hmm? Ooh, close. What would you do if some Neanderthal was all over your donna? Well, I'd probably give him a slap. Oh, you know, help you. What? It was awful last night not knowing what's going on. <laughs> Look, you've got nothing to worry about. I'd much rather been here with you, but I couldn't get away. So what happened? Well, it was like you said. Amory was appalling. She was drunk when I arrived and she carried on drinking. Are you surprised? I think... I think Jess had forgotten how difficult she could be. It was like she saw her for the first time. You know, she was angry with her mother, not with you. And I was supposed to work that one out? Well, you could have handled things better. I'm sick of being understanding. Did we say come in? Excuse me, yeah. I just wondered if you were thinking of doing any more work today. I beg your pardon? Well, if you're going to have to leave everything to me, just tell me, please. I'll be along in a minute, all right? Fine. You still haven't said how you feel about me leaving. Doesn't matter, does it? You're leaving. Well, I didn't say that. You're only thinking about yourself. You're as bad as Mum. You just do what you want, both of you. Oh, come on, Ollie, that's not fair. I'm thinking about you and Mark as well. If you wanted to come with me, you could. You don't mean that. Of course I do. Are you springing it on me out of the blue? Asking me to choose between you and Mum, that's not fair. I'm sorry. I should have handled it better. But just think about it. Well, what is this to think about? You mean you'll stay? I don't know. Not much left here for me, is there? Well, I want you to be sure. You and Mark won't be here. Look, it would be great if you came with me, and I'd love to have you, but you don't have to decide this minute. Just take your time. But um, don't say anything to your mum. Not yet. OK? Did you have a nice time? Yeah, yeah, fine. If you want to come in, spend some time, we can be together. Yeah, I'd like that. Thanks. Happy New Year, Marlon. Oh, and you? Just been upstairs with Denise and the baby. Oh, yeah? Wanted to make sure she was settled. To be honest, I could hardly tear myself away. <laughs> Can't be very easy for you. It could be a lot worse. At least I'm the father. Yeah, right. The circumstances aren't ideal, I know. But the state at the vicarage last night, and it all seemed very relaxed and natural. Good. It made me feel like I'd be part of her life, and that's such a relief. I'm very happy for you. 
Oh, Marlon, if you get a chance, go and have a peep at her. She's wonderful. Ah, I'm glad you're here. Ace has been worried about you. Shut up, Scott. Doesn't approve of your choice of men. What's he been saying? Oh, when I think you saw in the new year, wrapped around Kane. Taking a notice of him is as bad as me, ma'am. Oh, I very rarely do. <laughs> Listen, if you want a break, I'll be in the pub. See ya. Honest, Jess, don't be such a girl. Call me all the names you like. Won't stop me worrying about you. There's nought to worry about. Oh, he's a head case. What'd you see in him? I'd had a few drinks. Nothing happened. Yeah. It was just a snog. I don't even like him. I don't. Honest. I was really looking forward to seeing my mum. I thought she'd feel the same. I thought it'd be enough to stop her from drinking. She tried. She really did. That night I rang and she answered the phone. She didn't make any sense. She was drunk. Every day she'd start by pretending she wasn't drinking. But there were bottles hidden all over the house. By tea time she couldn't pretend anymore. I'm sorry. I thought she'd be different and if she wasn't, I thought I'd be able to handle it. I'm really glad you're back. What's taken kidney pod? One tight chicken. Table three. No, no, table four. Right. Anyone need serving? Shh. What's the matter? We don't want to wake the baby. Will you wait? She's sound asleep. Oh, good. Mum? Well, after last night, we thought you might appreciate a bit more peace and quiet. This is a pub, not a monastery. People come here to have a chat, not sit in silence. So is everything. Sorry, so is everything OK? Of course it is. I'm not going to soundproof her room. I want everyone to carry on as normal. So you won't be going to the vicarage again? No. Last night was an exception. I don't want to go giving Ashley false hopes. This is my home, and this is where I'm going to bring my baby up. We'll be fine. Yes, sir. What can I get you? It's early. He's not here yet. Hate Andrew. Andrew? Yes, I think Sean's going off me. I don't think he is, do you? I don't know, Tara. <laughs> if your dear old pa could see you now. Oh, what's he got to do with it? Remember how he used to go on about your boyfriends? How they were never good enough for you? <laughs> <laughs> and here you are, pining over a trucker. I'm not pining. I just want to know where I stand, that's all. Well, ask him when he gets here. Huh? Don't worry, I will. Come on, Grandad! I'm doing my best. You should stick to crib. Shut up, I'm concentrating. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> game over again? What's that, five in a row? Six. You give up yet? No, one more game. I'm just getting the hang of this thing. You could have fooled me. Well, let's try another game. It'll still be you. Well, come on, one without backflips. They've all got fancy moves, love. I thought you were supposed to be on my side. Come on, Mark. <laughs> Mad enough. Mark, what's up? What's all that about? Um, it's this game. You nick a car, drive like a maniac, and then uh, run someone over. Are we having another? What's the point? He's obviously not coming. Well, why don't you give him a ring? I told him I'd be here. So maybe he got held up. Well, I'm not going to sit here like a love-struck teenager. Andrew was right. He's lost interest. We're never going to be free of her, are we? I'm Marie. <sighs> but we are free of her. We've made the break and she'll accept that sooner or later. What about Jess? Well... She'll be 18 soon, and then she can make her own decisions. I wish she didn't hate me so much. She doesn't. <sighs> Seeing a mother in the state she was really shocked her. She thought she'd stay sober for her, and that's why she wouldn't leave. She was waiting for a miracle, and it didn't happen. Why are you so patient? Why aren't you all bitter and twisted? Well, for one thing, it wouldn't do Jess much good. And most of all, I've got you. You're going to tell me next that everything's going to be all right? Well, it is. I'm living with a saint. Well, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> mm.
Shall I run an iron over that for you? No. You look really nice in that. That's smart. Won't make a difference now, though, will it? I don't know. You should see some of the scruffy toe rags that stand up in court. Yeah. Well, I expect I'm going to be meeting a few, though, aren't I? You'll be all right, Mark. You will. I'm scared, Mum. I'm, I'm really scared. I know. I'm really proud of you. You know that, don't you? Why? Because you're a really good lad. You haven't got a wicked bone in your body. And because you've come through some really tough stuff this past year or so. And I know you're going to come through this. I don't see how. You will. I know you will. I couldn't wish for a better son, you know. And I'll do anything for you. Anything, remember that, whatever happens. <laughs>